What's going on guys? My name is Engineer and I make so optimal content. Today I want to talk about why I'm switching my main front end framework from Vue.js to React. Now, this is not an easy video for me to make because I spent most of 2021 learning Vue, making videos about Vue, diving into frameworks like Gridsome and Nuxt, building my own blog using both of these frameworks, and even coding my video editing automation startup in Vue.js. So after doing all of that, why am I switching to React? Well, it comes down to three core concepts, community support, TypeScript integration, and the hiring slash fang job market. But before I dive into these specific reasonings, let's start with a quick rundown of Vue versus React. So before we talk about why I'm making the switch to React, let's just take a little time to understand, you know, the similarities and differences between Vue and React. So Vue is a framework created by Evan Yu, and React is a library created by Facebook. What's the difference between, you know, Vue the framework and React the library? The thing is, Vue comes with more things out of the box. So for example, it comes with Vuex, which is the state management system, and it also comes with things like Vue Router. And because React is a library and not a framework, it doesn't come with everything out of the box, but there's huge active community support around things like state management tools. So for example, um, where you have Vuex in Vue, you got Redux in React. Additionally, Vue and React also have very similar libraries. So for example, uh, if you've ever heard of things like Gatsby JS to create uh, your blog or something like that, right? Vue has a very similar uh, library called Gridsome. Additionally, React has a framework like Next.js and Vue's got Nux.js. So what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of similarities between React and Vue, and there's no real right or wrong when you're picking which framework you want to use. So I found this Reddit comment, and it basically summarized you know, the difference between Vue and React pretty succinctly. Behind the math said, use Vue if you want JavaScript in your HTML. Use React if you want HTML in your JavaScript. And so for the rest of this talk, I'm going to walk you through my specific situation, which is wanting to build digital products, wanting to build SaaS products, and why using React ended up becoming the better choice for me. One of the most important things when you're looking at which technology you want to use is to consider the community support around it. So this is a issue that I slowly realized as I was using Vue throughout the course of this year. I was working on this app called Graphite and for Graphite I needed to work with a library called Codemirror. And basically the first thing I usually do when I'm working with a new library is I just go to npm and I search Vue library name. And so I searched Vue code mirror and this was one of the more popular ones that came up and i'm going to be honest it was a bit off-putting to see that it hasn't been updated in over three years weekly downloads are pretty good but the fact that some of the information is written in chinese just because i mean i can't understand chinese so you know it's things like that where Vue and react differ so if you just look at the similar library in react you'll notice that Again, this is published one year ago. It has way more weekly downloads. And because it has more weekly downloads, I can assume that uh, if any issues come up, I can go to this re repository on GitHub and I can see the issues and filter through them. What I'm trying to say is that because Vue is a newer framework, it has less community support. At the end of the day, it probably costs me about two to three hours a week on average. So going back to this example, because I couldn't really work with this library, I had to sort of build a wrapper on top of code mirror myself figure out how to import it and things like that whereas maybe if i was using react i would not have needed to do that maybe i could have just used this library basically like small issues like this they may cost me like two to three hours a week but obviously i want to be working on my own startups and SaaS products right and two hours a week might not seem like a lot but if you put that in the course of a year that's almost three weeks and that is a lot of potential waste of time because in three weeks that could have built another whole startup and so that's why in terms of community supports react was the clear winner for me so the second main reason that i'm going to be switching to react is for typescript support so if you don't know what typescript is it's basically a superset 
of JavaScript. And all it really does is it provides error checking inside of your editor. So notice how you can create a user object like this. And if you say user.name inside of VS Code, you're going to get errors like this. But if you're doing this inside of JavaScript, uh, you won't see any errors. And the reason this is important is again, it comes down to the fact that I want to build digital products and I want to be able to iterate fast and move quickly. And I don't want to uh, s sell or make something that's going to have a lot of regressions and TypeScript is really helpful in preventing those silly errors. And the reason I'm switching from Vue to React is because Vue does not fully support TypeScript. As of late 2020, Vue 3 was released and Vue 3 is basically built from the ground up in TypeScript. But more recently than that, there have been questions on Reddit where people just ask like, hey, is Vue 3 ready for TypeScript? And most of the answers say that uh, Vue 3, while it's better than Vue 2 in terms of TypeScript support, it's still lacking behind from React. The Vue team is still in the early stages of incorporating TypeScript and things like that into Vue. A lot of things are still up in the air. So for example, one relevant thing that happened to me is that I recently wanted to build a web app using Nuxt.js and I wanted to use it with TypeScript. But because Nuxt is a framework built on top of Vue, the Nuxt team obviously hasn't had the chance to support all of the Vue 3 features. As of now, Nuxt is basically fully fledged on Vue 2. So again, it's like Vue has the ability to become successful in TypeScript, but it's just not there yet right now. And that's where I am having most of the issues. And so again, React ends up being the clear winner. When you're building a startup, you want to move fast, obviously, and you don't want to be slowed down by things like writing tests. So if you had a product that already found product market fit is making millions of dollars in annual recurring revenue, then you might want to start adding tests and things like that. But there's no point in adding tests to your code if nobody is using that code. The best way to sort of prevent errors from happening is by incorporating things like TypeScript so that you can sort of catch these silly errors anyway. And if you need to make changes, you can do so quickly. Because React is a more stable framework and it's been uh, supporting TypeScript for a longer period of time, there's just more documentation, there's more community around it. So there's this uh, website called Stackshare and here companies can upload which frameworks they're using. And so here are some companies using Vue and here are some companies using React. So again, you're going to notice that Vue has a lot of adoption, that's for sure, but it has a lot of international adoption. So uh, I'm pretty sure like things like whatever this company's name is, Alibaba Travels, right? These are international companies, whereas um, React has a lot of adoption in American companies like Uber, Airbnb, Facebook, Netflix, right? It has a lot of Fang support. Now you might be wondering like, what's the point of caring about Fang if you're going to build a startup or a digital product? Why does it matter? Well, two things come to mind. The first obviously is that because it's you know, supported by Fang companies, I can assume that if any Fang companies releases an NPM package or anything like that, it's obviously going to be in English, right? If some, you know, company that's in India is going to release a, a view package, it might be in Hindi, and I don't know how to read or write Hindi, so I can't really use it. Things like that is important. Another thing also comes to mind, and that is hiring. So suppose my startup was it actually does well, and maybe I have to start hiring people because you know, uh, a lot of American companies use react and react is very popular. There's just uh, more people using react. So I can, you know, maybe easily more easily find react developers that are up to speed. Additionally, you got to think about acquisition, say you do build a successful startup, and maybe it's not making millions of dollars, right? but maybe it's making $10,000, $20,000 per year, something decent that you're happy with. And you don't want to continue building it, but you want to sell it off. So somebody can acquire your startup uh, or the person who's acquiring your startup is more interested in, in, in buying your startup if it's built with React just because there's more developers in React and they can hire more React developers to sort of take over the startup. One situation is a startup completely succeeds and have to hire people. One is it does okay and I sell it. Um, and the other is it completely fails and now I want to work at Fang. Well, 
most Fang companies are using React. If Vue.js was two to three years older, then I can almost guarantee that it would be neck and neck uh, with React in all three areas from community support to TypeScript integration to the job market. But as for now, React is basically the clear winner in these three areas. And so switching to React is the best option for me. And yes, that means I'm going to have to rewrite my entire video editing app inside of React and TypeScript. If you enjoyed the video, then leave a like because that really helps me and the channel out and consider subscribing for more suboptimal content about web development and startups. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.